The treatment is called a geniculate radiofrequency ablation. And these are for patients who have had total knee arthroplasties, basically had their knee replaced, and unfortunately continue to have knee pain. For the longest time, if your knee still hurt after surgery, you were left with that. We treated you with physical therapy, we treated you with ice packs, we treated you with medications. Well, about three years ago, we came up with a way to treat chronic knee pain after your total knee arthroplasty. How's it done? We use radiofrequency ablation. Radiofrequency ablation uses a heated needle. The needle heats up to 80 degrees centigrade, and we place it down next to the nerve in three places around the, nerve, around the knee. We turn on the heated needle and it burns that nerve, so it severs the sensation of pain around the knee and kneecap in patients who've had total knee arthroplasties. It does not affect strength, it does not affect sensation around the skin, um, it does not affect your ability to walk, but it does take away, in most instances, the pain you've had in your knee for quite some time since your surgery. The ideal candidate for a patient to receive the geniculate radiofrequency ablation is someone who's obviously had a total knee arthroplasty, in other words, knee replacement, who've had continued pain in that knee and area for at least six months, I prefer a year after surgery. This procedure has two folds. First, we do a test in the clinic where we inject local anesthetic in three places around the uh, painful knee. When you walk out of the clinic, if we're right, you will walk out and your knee will be pain-free. If that is true, we then schedule the radio frequency procedure in the operating room. The procedure takes about 15 minutes. There's no overnight stays. Once you wake up from anesthesia, you go home. The only reason we use anesthesia is because this procedure can be a little painful. Again, we're putting a needle down near your knee and we're heating it to 80 degrees centigrade. So in order to make that a little more comfortable, we use anesthesia in your IV. But once you wake up from anesthesia, you go home. Give yourself another 10 to 14 days and that pain you've had in your knee hopefully will be gone. Patients can resume normal activity the following day. The only thing that usually hinders them is the fact they had anesthesia the prior day and they might be a little goofy in the head. But after that, there's really no restrictions. I let them get in the pool, the hot tub, they can go to work, they can exercise all as they see fit. 